On the 19th of March 2015, ESCOM, the South African Electricity Utility, announced that they would be approaching the National Energy Regulator, NERSA, for a further increase of electricity tariffs by 12.5%. This was after ESCOM had already increased electricity tariffs by 12.5% bringing the increase in electricity tariffs to 25% in one calendar year. The effect of such an increase on poor working class households would be devastating because already electricity has become unaffordable. In response to ESCOM's announcement, 18 organizations from across all sectors and all classes with various political persuasions in Pietermaritzburg, came together to form the STOP ESCOM 25% Increase Coalition. The message of the coalition was clear. Electricity is an essential service for everyone and electricity must be affordable for every single household. As part of their campaign, the coalition organized across all classes and races in Pietermaritzburg, conducted petitions and had a march in which the citizens of Pietermaritzburg came together in solidarity to protest ESCOM's increases. I'm here because I really feel that 25.3% is going to impact on the poorest of the poor and there is not enough money to pay for this anymore. And Eskom needs to get its house in order and find another way. We are here today on the streets because we object, we protest to Eskom's application for a 25.3% increase in electricity tariffs. We cannot afford it. The increase in electricity is not only going to affect the electricity prices um, of domestic households, but it's going to affect the prices of all goods and services. It's going to cause hundreds of thousands of households to go into darkness because they'll be forced to disconnect themselves because they can no longer afford to buy electricity. What it will also do is that it's going to roll back many of the gains since 1994 around electrification of households as well as removing the possibility of households to live with any level of basic dignity. So we're here today to tell NERSA to turn down Eskom's application, not because we don't believe that the financial challenges of Eskom must be addressed, but what we're saying is that it cannot be addressed at the expense of pushing people deeper into poverty, entrenching inequality and increasing levels of unemployment. Why say now? 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 Why say now?
Galo kesi, oktua uya kupua ngalo 25%. Asi vumela na ngani ngoba sifoli mpese. Kule mpese na geko sebenzai. Ngipete uguti ngfundi si ngani, ngitengu guja, umasungu wapisane. So izo vela pige le enzo kwa zuktengu kesi. Okta zuguti ke manje siyehlulega uktengu kesi. Asi ngege skone, nagangane, nagangane, ngapande. As a Taban Ganyan, they look at as is well. There's this notion that uh, uh, people are connecting electricity uh, illegally. It's because people cannot afford. Domestic residents are not the biggest user of electricity in South Africa. The biggest users of electricity in South Africa are our huge industries. Domestic residents use very, very little, around 12 to 15 percent of electricity. And most households today are already using as little as possible because they can't afford to pay. So the fault does not lie in anything that we as citizens are doing. The fault really lies in terms of how Eskom is managing its money and in terms of how industry itself um, takes most of South Africa's electricity. After the march ended, at the City Hall in Pietermaritzburg. Seven people were mandated to go to Johannesburg and take the petitions, the memorandum and the message from the citizens of Pietermaritzburg to the public hearings which was being conducted by the National Energy Regulator.